This video is sponsored by NBA 2K. I have some great news to share with you about NBA 2K19's My Career Mode. Just got done playing it. I played through the prelude. I played a little bit into the NBA. I got advanced a little bit just to see how things were. But we were able to get a fix that was not there when I first started playing that's gonna be there when you pick up the game. It has to do with creating your players. You're gonna be able to see the max attribute caps as you're making all of your adjustments, as you're changing your archetypes, as you're changing your weight and your height and your wingspan. They have added a page that was not there before. They showed it to me today. They actually just did this today. All you have to do on the creation screen is to hit a single button and it's gonna show your max attribute caps. So you can see what your speed is gonna be like when you raise the weight or when you change the archetype. You can see what your three point rating is gonna be like, what your dunk rating is gonna be like. You can compare attributes. You can compare all of the archetypes right there on the screen so that you make the decision that you wanna make. You have the vision for your player. You know what type of player and what type of play style you want. Now you can compare to pick the build that gives you the best ratings possible closest to what you're trying to do. And this year's game, other builds might be better. Whatever you made last year, there's a good chance that there's gonna be a different combination of archetypes this year that might be better for you, that are gonna have ratings in the spots that you want them in that are gonna be higher. So you can fool around in this screen and you can check the ratings for yourself before you proceed. So this is great news. The only thing is that this is not gonna make it into the demo that's gonna come out next Friday. It's gonna be there when the game is officially released, but it's not gonna be there in time for the demo. So when you're playing the demo, keep that in mind, have fun. And remember the demo, you usually can only play it one time. You can't redo it. You have to wait until you get the real game to actually redo it anyway. So just have fun, play it, but don't go 100% in, wait until the game is released. And then you can see the full breakdown as you're changing every little detail. When you're playing the prelude, you can increase your ratings and it will show you the ratings as you're increasing it. It'll show you that when you're going up one tier or two, but you're not gonna be able to see the max potential, the max rating until the full game is out. We got that fix in there. That was the first thing that I noticed when I started playing. I spent like an hour making my player because I couldn't determine which build was the best. I didn't know what the ratings were, so I had to make it, go through, and then use VC because they gave me a bunch of VC so I could boost it up and I had to increase it and see what the rating goes to. But even that doesn't show me the max because not all of the slots are unlocked yet. You can only go to 85 overall until you've played it and unlocked more. But I'm just glad that they finally got it in there for the full game and you can really sit down and make a character that's gonna fit you. And the combination is gonna be crazy because now that you can see the actual numbers, you can play with the weight and the height and really get the player that you're going for. Also, it's gonna be 190,000 VC to go from your starting rating up to 85 which is the max before you actually start playing and unlocking extra slots to upgrade with. Also great news, which I've said on the live stream, you can see the badges that every playstyle has, every archetype combination you put together, it's gonna show you what the Hall of Fame badges are, what the gold badges are, what the silver, what the bronze are. So you know, before you get started, you know what your potential is gonna be. And this is right there in the creation screen Yes, the demo version that comes out next Friday will have the badges listed, just not the max ratings. That's gonna come when the game is out. I also talked with Mike Wing and he broke down the takeover system. If you wanna actually drop players, drop them to the floor, drop them on their behind, you have to have as your first archetype, the passing and ball handling, basically the playmaker. The first one has to be that. If you don't have that, you're not gonna be able to drop them on their butt. You can still get ankle breakers. You can still get them leaning. You can get them touching the floor, but to actually drop them to the floor, drop them on their behind, you have to have that playmaker as the first archetype, the passing and ball handling build. That is confirmed by Mike Wang. I talked with him and he told me that's how it works. But he also said this, when you get to 94 overall, 
Then you unlock the takeover abilities for your second archetype. So at 94 overall, then you can be able to drop people to the floor. But up until then, if you don't have that playmaker, that passing and ball handling archetype as your primary, you will not be able to drop anybody to the floor. And you also have to be in takeover mode to physically drop people on their butt. You can still get them leaning without takeover mode, but to drop them, you have to be in takeover mode. And in my time playing, that's exactly what I experienced. I had a player, his ball handling was only 86. So I didn't get anybody leaning until I had the takeover mode. When I was on fire and I was in takeover mode, then I actually dropped the player that was guarding me. And it was incredible, it was satisfying, but I didn't get anybody else leaning as I was playing. Obviously my rating wasn't really that high, it was only 86. I didn't even have the best dribble moves unlocked yet. But Mike Wang said when you're in takeover and you have that primary archetype, those moves are more deadly, they're more dangerous, they're more effective, and you only get access to them in takeover mode. Mike Wang also said that the animation glitch has been fixed. And I also need to make a clarification because on the live stream, Ronnie2k said that it's actually gonna be harder to get badges this year, and that's actually not true. It's gonna be easier, a lot easier to get badges, and I actually have a video that's gonna come out in the future it's gonna go over all of that. I can't talk about it now. I gotta wait for the embargoes, but I will have gameplay to share as well. I just wanna say thank you for all the great questions that we got on the stream because I was able to ask the devs a lot of these questions and I got answers for them. So that's gonna be coming soon in the future once the embargoes lift and they allow me to talk about it, I'm gonna let it fly. So stay tuned, a lot of good news is coming. I hope you enjoyed this video.